going to look at using the arrow method for long division. We would use the arrow method when dividing by a two digit number. So the first thing I need to do is set out my calculation. It's set out just like the bus stop method. So I have 784 in total and I'm dividing by 14. Now I know that I can't get any groups of 14 into 7 because 14 is greater than 7. So I know that my first digit is going to be a 0. I then need to subtract that from my 7. So 7 subtract 0 leaves me with 7. This is when your arrows start to come in. So I now need to bring my 8 from the tens column down to join that 7. So I'm now looking at the number 78. Now I don't know straight away how many equal groups of 14 I can get into 78. So I'm going to write out my 14 times table. So 14, 28, 42, 56, 70, 84. So from that, I can see that the closest multiple of 14 to 78 is 70. Okay. And that goes in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. I now need to subtract 70 from 78. I know that 8 subtract 0 is 8. 7 subtract 7 is 0. Now I need to bring my 4 from the 1s column down to join my 8. I'm now looking at how many multiples of 14 can go into 84. I'm going to refer back to my 14 times table. So I can see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 groups of, eight, six groups of 14 go into 84. Again, if I subtract that 84, 4 subtract 4 is 0, 8 subtract 8 is 0, 0 subtract nothing is 0. So I can see that 784 divided by 14 is 56. I'm going to have another go looking at 516 divided by 43. So again, I'm going to set out my calculation just like the bus stop method. So I've got a total of 516 and I'm dividing by 43. I know that I can't get any groups of 43 into 5 because 43 is greater than 5. So I'm going to subtract nothing and put a 0 above my 5. 5 subtract 0 leaves me with 5. I now need to bring my 1 from the tens column down to join my 5. So I'm looking at the number 51. I know that I can get one group of 43 into 51. So I now need to subtract 43 from 51. I can't do 1 take away 3, so I need to go to my tens column and take 1 from there. So I'm now looking at 11 subtract 3, which is 8, and 4 subtract 4, which is 0. I now need to bring my 6 from the 1s column down to join my 8. So I'm now looking at how many groups of 43 I can get into 86. I'm going to write out my 43 times table to help me. So to work out the next number, I know that 3 add 3 is 6 and 4 add 4 is 8. So I can see that I can get two groups of 43 into 86. I'm going to subtract that 86 to check that we end at 0. So 6 subtract 6 is 0. 8 subtract 8 is 0. And 0 subtract nothing is 0. I can see that 516 divided by 43 is 12.